Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel to learning a subject called as Computer Aided Engineering Drawing. In this session, we'll solve a problem on a development of a lateral surface with an example like this. A regular pentagonal prism of height 60 mm and base is 30 mm rests with its base on HP. The vertical face closest to VP is 30 degree. Draw the development of a truncated prism with its truncated surface inclined at 60 degree to its axis and bisecting it. Now we have a pentagonal prism whose dimensions is given to us and also one of the vertical face which is closest to VP is at an angle of 30 degree and we need to draw the development of a truncated prism and the truncated conditions is given as 60 degree to its axis and bisecting it. Coming to its analogy, let us understand how the solid will be. Now this is a 30 mm pentagon which is of having a size of 30 mm and height 60 mm which is going to look like this. Coming to its top view, this is what the condition. Now this surface is inclined to xy line at an angle of 30 degree to VP. That is what the condition which is given. Coming to the front view, this is how the front view and you can see one longer edge which is visible, other longer edge second and the third visible longer edge and this is going to be the fourth visible longer edge and this is the fifth longer edge which is invisible according to the given conditions. Now coming to the top view again, the first visible longer edge will be marked as A, second will be B, third will be C, D and followed by E. Then coming to the front view again and seeing the object in one particular position this is going to be the longer edge A, the longer edge B, longer edge C, longer edge D and longer edge E we will be having. Now this is the front view of the respective image. Now coming to the development of the surfaces, this is going to be the first surface. This is going to be first surface and this is going to be the second surface and this is going to be the third and then this is going to be the fourth and this is going to be the fifth. Like this, we have totally five surfaces which one can able to generate. Now, let us construct these images in our 2D drawing first. Let's go to the developments over here. That is 2D sketching. Let me go to the sketching using a line command with a line thickness of 0 0.13 and I'm going to fit the screen and then I'll just construct a XY line like this. Upon which I'll go to the polygon by center method and the sides as 50 and give any random value and get a pentagon constructed like this. And after constructing a pentagon, go to the smart dimension, show that the size of the pentagon is supposed to be 30 millimeter. And after which, using a line command, we have to make sure that it is making an angle of 30 degree with respect to x y line so we'll lock the angle as 30 degree and after drawing a 30 degree line a random position now one has to select the pentagon then make use of a move command and move this pentagon with respect to one of its corner which is going to be positioned anywhere on this 30 degree line like this afterwards using a command called as rotate along with the move make sure that the point which is on 30 degree will be the first point and the second point should be the line any line here and make that line on 30 degree line and switch off the copy so that we will not get a duplicate copy here the second point will be shifted to 30 degree line by the third click like this now one can see that this is what the required initial position of our pentagon given at 30 degree to VP the closest face. Now using the text command we'll name the respective corners like this. Now I'll be using the Times New Roman with a height of 4 millimeter for the text height. We'll mark this corner as A followed by B followed by C, D and E. Now as discussed E will be the invisible edge. To draw the front view one has to draw the projector of 
all these five corners till it touches the xy line like this now these lines are supposed to be perfect vertical lines now upon drawing this perfect vertical lines then this is going to be the first projector this is going to be the last projector using a command called as rectangle by three points where the projector of a as the first point projector of d as the last point which goes to define the width and the height of the solid is given as 60 millimeter we'll lock it to 60 then complete the remaining longer edge that is the longer edge b and the longer edge c then the longer edge e now after completing this the longer edge e is supposed to be the invisible edge will make sure that this is an invisible edge now you this has to be developed for a five different faces which is a parallel line development method for which using a line command will make use of the line command and draw a height here now using a smart dimension one has to show that the height is 60 mm now all the vertical lines is of 60 mm now we'll go to a line command with respect to the point on element over here and on this line so that we are going to create a vertical line of 60 millimeter now here we need to create five different rectangles of each 30 mm by 60 mm now for which we'll make use of a command called as a pattern which is available over here this is called as a rectangular pattern now in the x-axis i need five rectangles that means i need a six lines in y direction i wanted only one line and the distance between x direction is 30 mm each and upon giving this value i'll say finish now one can see that we got the five rectangles which is constructed in a single step then make use of a distance between command show that the distance between all the edges as 30 mm each by defining its dimension that is nothing but the five rectangular faces has been projected and upon which now we need to introduce a cutting plane which is 60 degree to its axis and bisecting it for which one has to construct an axis before that let us go to this part modeling and understand the how the cut position will be there now for which i'm going to show you the different views like this this is what the image what we are seeing and this is the cutting position and you can see this is the cut position now after applying the cut according to the given condition only the longer edges are being cut and there are five longer edges all the five longer edges are being cut now we have to show that same over there then coming to the front view now you can see four visible longer edges and one invisible longer edge is also being cut the visible longer edge a is going to be cut here as one visible longer edge b will be cut at this location as two the visible longer edge c will be cut at three the visible longer edge d will be cut at four over here and the last one invisible e will be the five now coming to this view this is how we are going to see the image now coming to the front view then again i am going to rotate this object with respect to one of the axes now you can see this is a1 this is b2 that is one of the shape here we are going to get it then upon the further rotation you can see this is another rectangular face which is being cut and a shape is going to be like this and this is going to be the third face shape and this is the third base shape and the fourth face shape will be like this and upon which the fifth face shape will be like this according to the given conditions which is known to us now let us do that in our 2d sketch using a line command now using this interlace sketch now join this d to the opposite line midpoint a b similarly from the op the line uh, midpoint of a line b c should be connected to the corner e over here now i'm going to zoom it to get a better clarity and after which i will switch off the intelli sketch 
midpoint and I'll say OK to get a proper position of the axis over here. Now this is the position of the axis by locking the vertical line as 40 millimeter, sorry not 40, 90 degree and I'm going to draw another line which is going to be the axis line. Now this axis line has to be represented in the form of a chain line like this. And after which now one has to introduce a cutting plane which is 60 degree and axis bisecting to it. Now using a line command again we'll go to IntelliSketch with the midpoint and I'm going to select the midpoint and I'll draw a random line from the midpoint towards both the sides of the front view. And then we'll make use of a parallel command. We'll make use of parallel command and make these lines parallel to each other. Then going to angle between command, select the axis line and one of the line over here and show that this inclination is 60 degree. Now, as already discussed, the cutting edge will be like this. This will be marked as one, that is A. The longer edge will be, B will be marked as two, C will be marked as three, and D will be marked as four. These are the visible edges, and the invisible longer edge, five, is going to be here, that is also going to be marked. And then, the same point should be transferred onto the lateral surfaces using a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 and with the IntelliSketch make sure that you are going to switch off the midpoint. Now one will be projected till the projector of A and projector of A that is the lateral surfaces over here. To avoid confusions let us mark the respective longer edges as A, B, C, D, E and followed by a. These are the five lateral surfaces. Now one has been projected at A and A and two will be the intersection of these two lines will be projected till B. Similarly, the three is the intersection of these two lines will be projected till C then followed by four on D and the intersection of these two lines over here by zooming this will get a proper image and then it will be connected to the line E. And afterwards, using the text command, we'll show that which is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 1, this is going to be 2, and this is going to be 3, and this is going to be 4, 5, and back to 1. Now, using a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter, join the line 1 and 2, followed by 3, 4, 5, 1, A and A on the other side coming back to 1. This is what the development of lateral surfaces of a truncated portion of the given condition. Then 2B is the cut portion after remaining of the longer edge. 3C is the longer edge after being cut. 4C remaining portion of and 4D remaining portion of the longer edges whatever the A, B, C, D is there should be mentioned like this. And using the text command, one has to show that it is called as development. D, E, V, E, L, O, P, M, E, N, T. And then we have to make a note that all dimensions are in mm. And not but least using a line command, we have to make sure that the remaining truncated portion should be shown as a dark lines like this and after this we have a one more edge over here this is going to be the visible edge we'll show this portion as invisible lines like this and then the top view is going to be visible we'll select the pentagon and the line width will be changed to 0 0.5 this completes the solution. Coming to the analogy, we'll verify that. Now coming to the top view, now you can see the complete pentagon is visible. Coming to the front view, only the port bottom portion which is visible has to be shown, not the complete image. Only the bottom portion. And the same thing has been represented over here. And if you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe. And if you like the video, please like and also share this video amongst your friends to learn this subject much better way. 
साइनिंग ऑफ विजेता वर्धन